Om Shanti, today is your 158th day of your Godly Blessing and before we go ahead with the Godly Blessing, have a look at the link above which is going to show you the pathway towards yoga asanas, fitness, how to sleep, what to eat and what not to eat. Have a look over here. So let's go ahead with today's Vardhan. In this Vardhan, Baba wants us to remember that if we lose our powers, if we lose control of our mind to anything which is worldly or to anybody, any person, then we are powerless completely and we can't be complaining at that time. And if we have all the eight powers, then we feel that we are in peace even amongst all the troubles in life, even amongst all the turbulence in life. So let's go ahead and let's find out what Baba has to say in this Vardhan. Baba says, may you become an embodiment of the eight powers. Now, what are those eight powers? Do have a look in the description down below this video. Click on the description, click on the link which takes you to the eight powers of the soul. Those are the powers which every soul has got. Every thought of yours can create power. Have a look and then you'll understand what we are talking about. And experience the sovereignty of the land that is free from sorrow while having the world of sorrow in front of you. That means even while having the world of sorrow in front of your eyes, there might be peacelessness at your home. There might be peacelessness in the world. There might be unhappiness amongst people. You might feel bad negative energies around people, but still you are powerful. So you are in your own world of happiness. Yes, that's possible. And that is what we do at Brahma Kumaris. That's what we learn over here. So then what Baba says is, it is only now that you have the knowledge of sorrow and being free from sorrow. We know some people don't even understand why there's so much of sorrow in the world. They have a question in the mind. They just give the answer as this is Kali Yuga. That's why maybe there is sorrow. But why Kali Yuga? We are children of God. So God created heaven. Aren't we supposed to be in heaven? Isn't that a right question to ask? What happened to us? Why are we in Kali Yuga? Kali Yuga is known as hell on earth. So that is the question which comes to our mind. If we don't question it, we don't get the right answers. Where we get all the answers is that Brahma Kumaris. So Baba says this is a sign that while the world of sorrow is in front of you, constantly experience the sovereignty of the land free from sorrow. That means you feel as if you are the king of your own mind, of your own situations, even if the situations around you don't show you that you are at peace or this is heaven for you. Then God says, Baba says, this is a sign of the children who are embodiments of the eight powers. The powers are the power to withdraw during situations, what to say, what not to say. The power to back up. Back up means to accept things, whether there's loss, whether there's victory, to accept that, yes, I need not spread myself too much in this world. That's wisdom. The power to tolerate things, people, situations, even your own self. When you're not able to progress in life also, you're able to tolerate yourself and others too. Power to discern and power to accommodate people and situations. Power to discern what is right, what is wrong. Power to decide and make a decision and judgment not on people, but on what is supposed to be done. Power to face situations. Power to face people. Power to face your own self, your own weaknesses. And power to cooperate even with those who actually put you down. These are all powers, eight powers. You'll get a complete knowledge about when you do the eight days course at Brahma Kumaris. So God says, if you lose any power, if you lose any power due to the influence of bad company, or by being influenced by your physical senses. We'll come to that. But before this, this is a sign of the children who are embodiments of the eight powers and who are conquerors of the physical senses. Now, I have complete power over my mouth that I don't have any anger, even if my thoughts are getting angry within me, but I don't speak out. I see things happening around me, but I don't go deeply into them. I listen to bad things around me, people talking about others and other things but I don't listen to them. That is the power which can only come when you as a soul in a, are in a higher vibration all the time. So all these things don't affect you. For that, meditation is very important. Next, Baba says, it is only now that you receive all the powers from the Father. So meditation gives us all the powers. Not just having the knowledge of these eight powers is enough, but to practice it while being in connection with God is also important. If you lose any power due to the influence of bad company, that means if you come in touch with other people and your old habits come back because those souls are not using those powers, they're using the reverse powers. That means instead of tolerating, they are shouting back, they are 
being violent instead of facing situations they are creating a panic around in the room or creating a panic around in the house or creating a panic around in the world those are reverse vibes instead of making the right judgment they are panicking and they are making always wrong judgments and blaming others it's all reverse powers that is the bad influence bad company god is saying if you lose any power your own powers due to the influence of bad company or by being influenced by your physical senses that means you're not in control of your physical senses you didn't want to say something bad but you spoke bad about somebody you didn't want to see anything bad in others but you saw bad in others and you were laughing about it or you got ego or in your mind about that you are better off than other people if you have anything which you hear around your society and you listen to them nicely and you spend a lot of time that means you don't have power over your five senses they are controlling your mind instead of you controlling those five senses and baba says the intoxication and happiness <coughs> of the land free from sorrow that you have received will then automatically be lost the intoxication and happiness of the land free from sorrow the world free from sorrow where you are living that is only going to happen when we have the eight powers when we practice meditation but if you get into bad influence bad company then those powers are lost so baba says the intoxication and happiness of the land free from sorrow which you had because you were practicing all those powers and you were meditating but you have lost them of land free from sorrow that you have received will then automatically be lost because of bad company and not having control over our senses so you the emperor of the land that is free from sorrow will then become bankrupt we became those souls who were meditating who are having control over our five senses we even the right company good company the best company of god and then we went into bad company or came into the influence of five senses then what happened the emperor of the land that which we were is free from sorrow and it was free from sorrow for some time and then what happened we came into bad company will then become bankrupt so what happens when a emperor become bankrupt all the five all the five different ministries will also become bankrupt what are the five ministries these are the five ministers which are not listening to the soul the emperor anymore the thoughts are not controlling them they are controlling the thoughts so the emperor is becoming bankrupt imagine a king who has got complete his complete dynasty which is controlling him instead of him being able to direct and guide other souls and his complete dynasty what will happen so this is what god talks about you the soul i the soul am the emperor of these five senses or we are not and that decides our happiness in this life in this world so i leave you with this beautiful vardan have a blessed day stay safe stay home om shanti